20 minutes after the Atiku live broadcast. Join Rich TV Nigeria on an exclusive insight into the Atiku campaign organization. Rich TV is live on ground at the Atiku headquarters just moments after the live broadcast of Atiku's action plan. And I'm with Chiamaka. Now, Chiamaka, I can see a lot of crowd behind us. What are they chanting and what is their cause? They are here to show their support for Atiku and to tell Atiku that they are standing behind him as 2019 comes closer. Yes. Now, you're here to do an interview, I suppose. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, tell me, just give us a little bit about the interview you're about to do. Well, I'm here to have an exclusive interview with a representative of Tim Atiku to talk to him about how excited the Atiku team is for the 2019 elections and to speak to them about their thoughts on the next level plan by Buhari. Okay, that is, that is really great. And, and I wouldn't want to miss it if I were you. Keep the dial locked and, of course, we'll reveal to you in this exclusive interview what the Atiku campaign organization thinks about their policy plan and, of course, that of the incumbent President Mohamed Buhari. Do stay. Roots TV exclusively speaks to Paul Ebay, Deputy Director Communications at Tiku Presidential Campaign Organization, on Atiku's blueprint for 2019 and Mohamed Dubari's plans to take Nigeria to the next level. While some might say it is coincidental, in fact, just yesterday, the current Nigerian president, Mohamed Buhari, released the blueprint for his own 2019 presidential campaign. So what is the reaction of the Atiku team to the blueprint called Next Level by Mohamed Buhari? What level? When, when you're talking about Next Level, the question you should ask, what is the level that we are in with this administration? obviously worse than the situation that we are in of joblessness, of hopelessness, of insecurity, of division, of bigotry. That's the same of, uh, we're getting same, you know, more, more, more of the same. And that is all we need at this point. We need a man who has a track record, a man with competence, a man with the required skills, to set us on the task of getting the best out of this country. We deserve better than we are, you know, we are getting under this administration. So if I get you correctly, sir, is the Atiku team referring to the next level plans by the current president as empty and referring to the president as incompetent? It's a next level of incompetence. It's a next level of uh, cluelessness. It's a next level of, uh, of joblessness. It's a next level of insecurity. It's the next level of bigotry. That's why we are set for another four years of this administration. Let us take the Atiku versus Buari saga to the street. What does the average Nigerian think of Buari and Atiku's blueprints? The streets of the Federal Capital Territory is literally on fire. Berlin hour after the live broadcast of Atiku Abubaka on its next plan. Now, the ABC told us yesterday they are taking us to the next level. Atiku has told us that. Let us get Nigeria working again. Let's listen to the ordinary man on the street and what he has to say about this. Buari, we are tired of Buari. Hungry is too much in this country. Yes. So we want him to go. Atiku should come back. Now, APC took over the mantle of leadership. They increased the fuel to 145 naira. They increased dollar. They made dollar 165 to 360 naira. You cannot do anything now. The children are at home everywhere. They are not going to school. No money to pay for school fees. No feeding. But this time around, Nigeria said, enough is enough. Let Atiku come. Let Atiku come. People are hungry. We can mention and mention cases of corruption at this government. They are not prosecuting them. They are not arresting them. And others who believe they are taking us to the next level. Which is the next level again? Atiku has never. We don't know his father to be a rich man. We don't know his mother to be a rich man. He was a civil servant who worked as as, a, a, as an uh, custom officer. And now today, he is one of the billionaires we have in this country. We are bound to ask Atiku Abubakar, where did he get his money from? We have heard from the Atiku team. And one thing is clear. The real power is in the hands of the Nigerian voters. On behalf of my crew member, Busaya Tosin, I am Chamaka for Roots TV Nigeria.